What's going on out there folks? Rooster here in Tennessee with another video for you. Today we're looking at the RM Italy KL300P. Made in Italy of course. I uh, decided to get a couple of these in. Um, everybody's loving the 203Ps. Got a couple of those left. And uh, ordered some more of the 503s. Uh, sold four or five of those and uh, got some more in. And decided I would get some of these... Uh, 300 uh, peas while I was at it and here's the box they come in of course when I ship this out this will be bubble wrapped and placed in another box but uh, take a look at the paperwork here it comes with a little schematic and uh, this one I believe it doesn't say in the paperwork but it actually runs uh, transistors rather than MOSFETs and if it's not an MRF 455 it's a MRF 455 styled transistor uh, you can see it right there on the schematic that TR4 and TR5 I believe would be your power transistors and uh, it comes with a little instruction booklet basically how to run it or whatever uh, sometimes these guys are secretive about the transistors or MOSFETs they use they don't necessarily want everybody knowing but I believe this one's got a, a pair of MRF455's in it there's your suggested drive and your uh, possible output energy consumption all that tells you how to hook it up here um, I had a gentleman the other day that was needing instructions and I think I hand wrote him some instructions when I shipped his amp but uh, they make it pretty self explanatory here uh, there you go pretty simple we'll place that back over here um, the only thing I would recommend changing on one of these guys is you might want to put a fan on it if you're somebody gets long-winded. Um, several people have got them and, and say they don't have any trouble. But if you're like me, uh, sometimes I get long-winded talking and key down for, you know, a minute at a time. And then somebody keys up for 15 seconds and I'm back in there talking for another minute. So... Uh, you might want to put a fan on one of these, but they're a little bit bigger than the 203. They're about double the size, but not as big as the 503 uh, physically. So uh, anyway, um, preamp, the amp, when you turn the linear on, when you turn the amplifier on, uh, the preamp and the amp are on at the same time. And they've got a great preamp that doesn't pick up a bunch of static, so it's only going to help you. Mm, so you either run it off, no amp at all, down just the preamp up is both the preamp and the amp now so that might be a turn off for some people because you figure the preamp brings in a lot of static but i know we're just on a dummy load here but i'm just going to show you the difference this was with the preamp on there it is off so it takes the static down a little bit but let me show you the signal difference here okay this is going to be with the preamp on 30 db Preamp off. Nine. So these things have an excellent, excellent preamp on them. And like I said, it's pulling in a little static, but nothing compared to some of the other preamps out there. Actually, a good, nice working preamp. It does have a sideband delay in the middle. Flip it up is your sideband delay. Down is your AM. Uh, you come over here to the back. It's got wires coming out the back. Now, the 503, you have to put your own wire on it. Uh, this one comes with uh, some short leads on it here and underneath is labeled your antenna and your transmitter uh, input and output so uh, it's all pre-labeled for you and they do come sealed uh, with a seal across the bottom to make sure no one's tampered with them and that you're getting them uh, from a direct supplier such as myself but uh, that being said we're going to hit it with this Cobra 29 here now this 29 has kind of been set up to drive into these I think it does about 25 to 30 watts PEP and about 7 watts average, which is uh, ideal for one of these. Now, I will say people claim to drive these with more and not have any problems. I have a local that uses one with a RCI 2985, and uh, he's had no issues with it. Talks on it daily. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, recommended levels doesn't necessarily mean that's the max you can put in, but that is what's recommended. So I recommend a 25 to 30 watt radio or even a stock radio uh, going into these. But that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. 
um, but just know you could run into issues um, if you exceed those levels. But anyway, let's see what it does on average power first. 500 watt slug, 500 watt scale. We're going to look at average power. We're running about 14 volts. Uh, let's turn this little radio off. We'll go ahead and key up. Let's put some carrier in there. There we go. We're looking at the middle scale. So we're keying about 30 watts. Audio. Audio. Hello. Audio. Almost 80 watts average. Audio. But about 70, 75 realistically. Hello. Audio. Hello. Audio. We're drawing about 10, 11 amps. Hello. Audio. Now that voltmeter is showing kind of wonky because we're keyed down, but realistically we're about 14 volts. Hello. Audio. And 75 to 80 watts average. Now let's go to peak. Still looking at the middle scale. Hello, radio, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio, radio, 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 audio. A little bit over 200. Hello, audio, 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 radio, audio, radio, audio. We'll go to low. It does have a high and low. Hello, audio test, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three. About 150 watts on low. <clears throat> but that's it, guys. Um, nice and cool still there. Uh, benefits to running this over the 203P. I like the 203P a lot, um, but this is a little bit better off because of the... Uh, the extended heat sink you got about double the heat sink on this and like I mentioned before it looks like this one runs an actual transistor instead of a MOSFET so you're you're gonna have a little bit less heat coming out of it and probably gonna be just a little bit tougher in the long run that's not taking anything away from the 203P um, but you are getting a little bit more value probably um, out of this uh, 300P as far as that goes but uh, that's it, guys. I've got three of these in right now. Um, they are up for uh, sale for first come, first serve, I guess. Uh, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. I uh, look forward to carrying more uh, RM Italy products, cereal products in the future. Um, and that's about it, guys. If you're interested, shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.